Okay folks, today we're going to be building F117A Nighthawk, let's do this. Okay folks, these sections here make up the ejector seat. The two bits at the bottom is like the Jackson seat rails. The top piece is the actual seat itself, which is like an olive drab colour. And these two L shaped pieces are like some kind of pistons or rams. They're to do with the ejection rail system as well. And that little square piece is some kind of head cushion. We're going to assemble this now. Okay folks, I've glued this section together. I'm going to paint this separately and then put this into there. These two rails, if you're having them open, the canopy open that is, you've got to um, leave them as they are. But if you're having it closed, you've got to cut the tops off. So I'm going to cut these tops off, glue these into the side of the uh, rail of the seat. And the side of the seat is like a grey colour, but the actual seat itself, I believe, is black. Um, the cushion of the seat is like an olive drab. This wasn't a head cushion, it turns out to be part of the uh, um, parachute system for the seat. We're going to go ahead and paint this, together, paint this now. Okay folks, these sections are all ready for, ready for paint now. Right, the seat parts is going to be the uh, semi-gloss black. The cushion I thought was an olive drab, it actually turns out to be an RML2 like grey green colour. And the actual rest of the cockpit is a grey colour. The closest grey I could get is ocean grey. So we're going to go ahead and paint this jet to seat the black. The rail is the ocean grey. The inside of the cockpit is grey. The dial is a semi -gloss, gloss black with dry brushing techniques. The top of the seat and parachute system headrest is all semi gloss black, where the actual seat itself is the uh, RML2. Flight stick is black, the base is RML2. No, ocean grey, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and paint this now. Okay, finished the black now. Going to do the grey. You probably won't see it so much on camera because it's black on black. But you can tell when you look, uh, look at it. Okay, folks, it's all painted now. This is the seat, how it's painted. This is the cockpit with the black and grey sections. I'm going to do dry brushing all over the dials and highlight some of the dials and stuff. The seat and the rails are, are painted in the black and grey. This is pretty much dry. So this is going to sit inside here. There's your seat. That goes in there. As I say, we're going to dry brush this up. There's the uh, little flight stick. There's a uh, red button, according to uh, reference photos I've seen. So, copy's coming along nicely. We're going to do dry brush techniques now. Okay folks, <clears throat> I put the cockpit together and I painted some of the dials, dry brushed some of the highlights, some of the uh, dials and stuff. Put the seat in, put the ejector handles, they've been painted the yellow, the flight sticks in. The only thing is left is the instrument panel, but this is the main bulk of the cockpit. Um, I've got to put a clear coat in here to protect all this. Um, I'm debating about putting the pilot figure in this or not. Um, might do or might not, but if I do, it'll be on the video. But this is how the cockpit's come out, and this is how I'm gonna do the cockpit. Okay, folks, I just finished painting the pilot and putting a wash on, that's why he looks a little bit shiny. Um, I'll turn the, the light off now so you can see but yeah he's that's the reason why it looks really really shiny and wet because it's got a uh, to me a black panel line over over him um, so when it dries up it should 
highlight some of the uh, creases on his uniform and stuff but yeah, this is the pilot um, as I say I'm not very good at making figures but I painted him just in case I do decide to put him in but this is the pilot Holy folks, <clears throat> I finished off painting the figure. This is what it would look like if I decided to put the figure in. Um, I haven't glued him in, he's just sat in the seat. But this is what the figure looks like. And the cockpit is all complete as well. I may leave it, or may not. Okay folks, this is my next step to paint inside the cockpit. Which is here. It'd be the uh, dark grey colour and the actual dash is the um, black. Okay, I've masked around the dash, now I'm going to paint it black. I know what you're thinking, why paint it black when it's black plastic? If you leave it black plastic, you can tell it's plastic. If you paint it, it doesn't look like plastic. You just got The black paint has got a different texture. The same as I'll be painting the instrument panel again is black but again if I paint it it's got a different texture inside the radio dome is black and the triangle piece is like a red orange okay folks I finished off painting around the cockpit I put in the front glass at the front of the jet where the radio system is which is down the bottom here which I put in now I'm working on the back of the aircraft, I put the two jet nozzles in and now this section as well here is part I'm working on B3 needs to go in first, B4 goes in second if you don't do it that way it won't fit at all, it only goes in one way so here's the back of the jet here's B3, slots in here B4, slots in here Once that's glued into place, it gives you these tabs at the back of the jet, which houses the two like V-shaped fins. Right, so we finished putting on the uh, two air scoops at the front. We put in this triangle piece at the top, this piece at the back. Um, so this section is pretty much done for now. Um, we put this to one side. Um, we're going to be working on Our next step is working on the Bombay section of the uh, jet bomber. Just another thing I want to mention. Keep this uh, triangle piece on the front. It protects these uh, pito tubes. Okay folks, this piece here, 
I put this together off camera thinking I didn't need it because I looked in the instructions and they asked you to put this centerpiece in for support when you have the doors closed. Then I look further in the instructions and I do need it. So unfortunately I didn't build this bit as a video because I already did it. Um, but anyway, this bit's built now and this piece will go inside this piece we built previously. So this will go in here um, and then you've got the two bomb racks to go other side but I'm not going to glue this in just yet because I need to paint all of this in white this needs to be white um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start doing that okay folks these sections here make up one of the Bombay brackets um, these two pieces go together like so these pieces go together and then these two pieces hang on the bottom And then you've got these support pieces go over side. Um, but be careful to note, you've got a large hole. Be careful to note, you've got one large hole and one small hole. They only go, again, one large hole, one small hole. So this is the left and this is the right. So make sure you get them to run the right way. Once they've been put together, it looks somewhat like this. This is what one of them looks like. Again, this has got to be painted the white. I know what you're thinking, why paint it, because it's already white, but if I leave it white it looks crappy and it looks plasticky and it just don't look white. So what I do is I'm going to paint it black and then the white on top, which gives it some kind of shadow effect as well. Just like you see on Neil Bomb Days where it's, I don't know how to explain it. You can tell that it's been painted anyway, it's not, it's not the crap plastic. So we're going to go ahead and paint this now. Okay folks, these sections here make up the Paveway 3 bomb. Um, we're going to put this together now. Okay folks, these are ready for paint. I'm going to paint these olive drab uh, FX62 and then th this front piece around the fins is like a brown colour just like it is in this photo. Okay folks, these sections are all clear coated now and painted. Painted and clear coated on the uh, support arms in Paveway 3 racks are clear coated and painted. The Paveway 3s themselves are painted and clear coated. Next step is working on the undercarriage. Um, we can put this together and paint it and clear coat it, but it won't actually go into the aircraft until towards the end. Okay, I've finished off assembling the undercarriage. Um, these have got to be sanded and painted and clear coated or whatever we're going to do that in in the next set but this undercarriage part here inside the other, in the bomb uh wheel well is white but this piece here is like a black um i'm not 100 sure what this piece is on the aircraft but on the uh, bottom of the aircraft this piece is visible from the underside i think it's something to do with landing gears or lights or something i really don't know some kind of or could be some radar system molded into the plastic but I really don't know what this part's for um, like I mentioned in the instructions you see here it's 
is visible with a piece of clear. Um, so yeah, this is ready for paint now. Okay, folks, these sections are all painted now. These are sitting here. They're drying. Once these are dry, I can put a clear coat and do washes and detail them up a little bit. Okay, folks, I've gone ahead and put the uh, Bombay and the wheel, wheel, wheel wells in now. They're, they're glued into place, which look like this. The front uh, camera thingy type piece at the front is done. And my next step is just behind here is the nose weight. So these pieces go together. And then this, that slots into there. And then you've got to glue it into place. Okay, now this section is glued into place, we're ready to uh, fit the top. Okay, as you can see now, all the aircraft has been put together now. Um, I've glued the two halves together. Little tip about this, uh, gluing this aircraft together. I d unless you've got loads and loads of clamps, you can do it in one piece. But because I only have eight clamps, I've had to do it in, in, in sections. Um, again, I still advise to leave this piece on. It protects all the PO tubes on the front of the aircraft. Last thing you want to do is snap them off. Again, I have chose to keep the pilot in. So there's my uh, cockpit. I'm going to um, button it up now by putting on the uh, canopy. Give it a wipe over. And it's ready for paint. I'll be putting down a uh, grey primer. And then I'll be putting down the black. The black I'll probably be using NATO grey. Or black, sorry. NATO black. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, so it is the underside, the wheel wells and bombays. Okay, folks, these sections make up the the uh, flaps, and these are the bottom of the two flaps. These two go together, these together, these two together, and then once these two are together, this sits at the bottom, allows it to pivot. So I'll show you how this lot goes together. It's so simple. Two halves, literally snap into place together, run the bead line of, of glue down the seam, and that's simple. This section and this section together, simply just lock into there. There you go, once you hear the snap again, just run the bead of glue around the edge, thin piece in there, and this piece is done. This piece and this piece go together. Um, simply again, snaps into place. And then you've got it this shape and this shape. You can slot that into there. And this is the the uh, V-shaped fins so at the back of the air aircraft and then it allows the uh, aircraft to turn so it's as simple as that we're going to go and get ahead and glue these together now okay these are completed flaps and ailerons these are ready to go on the aircraft as well now okay guys this section here is all the uh, Bombay doors and landing gear flaps I'm going to go ahead and paint these the uh, white which is on the uh, undercarriage um, once this is dry we can um, flip them over and do the uh, black which is the same colour as the aircraft and then clear coat it and then it's ready for detailing like washes and grimes and stuff so we're going to do this in the uh, white
Okay, folks, everything's all masked up and the Bombay is partially masked up. It's ready for paint now. We're going to do it like a grey gray colour and then we do the black. Um, the Bombay is going to need a little bit of touch up because the uh, centrepiece is showing, but that's not a problem. Okay folks, well, I finished the grey colour now, this is the grey paint, it's not a primer, it's just a normal grey paint from Tamiya, they're 66, which is um, light grey I think, believe, um, so once this is dry we can go on painting the uh, NATO black. The uh, fins are uh, done in grey as well, so like I say, everything's done in grey, this is ready for the black. Okay folks, I've gone ahead and sanded off the uh, protection piece now. Now you've got to be really careful not to break these pitot tubes off. We're going to go ahead and paint the whole bird, the NATO black now. Okay folks, I've finished painting the jet now. I was going to use NATO black, but it was a little bit too light for my liking. So I used flat black and NATO black mixed together. Roughly ratio of... 90% NATO black, 10% flat black to give me this ratio. I'm not 100% sure what the real colour is on the aircraft because it's a stealth plane. This is my take on stealth. So this is the uh, black colour. Here's the uh, landing gear, flaps and Bombay doors. And the uh, V-shaped fins are done in the same colour. So this is the base colour now. Let this dry, ready for clear coat and decals. Okay folks, I've just finished clear coating uh, about an hour ago, so this is all dry now. We are going to go ahead and do the exhaust system now, so we're going to mask off this section and do it silver. And then some like burnt metals and stuff. Okay, I've finished painting off the back of the uh, exhaust system. Um, we're going to go ahead and decal the aircraft now. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you the uh, decals I'm using. This is the decals from this company. Uh, 148, you get several markings. Um, you get this one here, with the uh, like a duck logo. One with um, like a knight. Tells you how many missions they've done as well. You've got this one here. Top. Um... Got this one with the snake, this is the one I like. Got this one here, this one here, the Grim Reaper, this one with the uh, female warrior. You got this one here, shock attack, pretty cool. And then you've just got the uh, other markings, which are for your. Um, American stars and stuff. Um, this is the decal sheet. Like I say, they all come on there. This is all your stencils and other markings. So you'll be needing all of this plus whatever aircraft you decide to use. Um, so I'll be going to do the uh, snake one and use these, and you st and you need these two symbols as well.
Howdy folks, the aircraft is all finished now. Um, several issues with this kit. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is I had a reaction with Tamir's tape, which is the first time I've ever had reaction with their masking tape. It left a little bit of residue on the side of the canopy. Um, I tried cleaning up with some alcohol and it made it a little bit worse. So if you look at this side canopy, glass window, it's absolutely destroyed it. Um, that really really peed me off um, but other than that issue with the uh, canopy mask that comes with the kit I don't know what, what happened to it if it's old or whatever but the residue stuck to the canopy and I've, I've never known the, the Tamir tape to do that um, if you ever, ever had issues like that please comment in the uh, comments below to uh, let me know but this is the aircraft um, most people would have probably thrown it in the bin or whatever and scrapped it and but me I just persevered go with it I know I know it's a big damper on on the kit you do all this work and then you get stupid things like that that come up and it just totally ruins it but I I, I, I wasn't going to throw it in the bin um so this is the way we what we've got so far um the underside has got the bombs showing what I'll do is I'll flip the aircraft over and show you here's the bomb bay section with the uh, pave wave 3 bombs I think they are or pave wave 2 it's, it's one of them but this is the uh, with the bombs out as well for display um, actually come to think of it I need to put the uh, ends of the uh, bombs on a little bit of clear but uh, this is the uh, kit. I say those issues with the canopy. Um, other than that, the kit's gone together pretty well.